All right, this round looks like he's going to be going for a fast A take. Able to spot out two guys there, sprays them both down. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time is but a window, and today we're going to be doing some Overwatch. As you can see here, the suspect is starting off staring at the ground, shaking left and right, using some full-on anti-aim. Going to make his way over here towards middle of the MAC-10. Able to take down Taurus with two bullets there. One more guy there. Going to get that headshot and gets the round. All right, guys, let's go report the first cheater of the day. As for major disruption aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other control assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, going to go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. As you guys can see, Overwatches still seem to be overwhelmed with cheaters. But what about a real global game? Here you can see Ignorance with 20 kills in the first 12 rounds. I assume if anyone in here were cheating, it would probably be him. Or maybe Cyclone. Cyclone is muted. He's going to get taken down here by Cyclone. So let's check him out real quickly. He's in a 1v1 situation in core, making his way over here from Connector. Does he have too much information on this final counter terrorist? The bomb is down in the middle of the site. Right now, Cyclone is just taking his time. Going to pick up that bomb. And it looks like... Got a little distracted by a different skin on the ground. The last counter terrorist pushing his way over here from A ramp. Cyclone's going to fake the plant. Look over here towards CT spawn. Does not seem to expect a guy flanking. Either way, the counter terrorist is just kind of waiting right now, waiting to hear that plant. Plant's going to start happening. Cyclone's going to finish it off. Does not spot out the CT yet. Jumps back over here towards CT spawn. And the last counter terrorist is just going to be creeping his way over here into the site. All right, it's a 1v1 situation. And it looks like Incor is trying to be a little bit cheeky here, just kind of playing the box right here. Cyclone's over there camping that angle. He's just going to wait for that defuse. And for some reason, I feel like Incor doesn't realize that he should just go and defuse that bomb. All right, now he's going to defuse the bomb. Cyclone's going to peek out, one taps him, and wins the round. And with that, let's head back over to Ignorance. He's going to be making his way over here towards the middle with an AWP. Able to take down one of the terrorists through that smoke. He was just holding the angle and took a shot after the smoke went off. And then he just shot another guy through the smoke. Wow, his prediction is definitely on point. Or maybe he is using something. Going to be making his way up here towards top mid. I should mention this is a live global game. One guy on the left-hand side is going to spot down his shoulder and able to take down the final terrorist. Once again, making his way over here towards middle. One guy out mid. He is able to flick over and hit the shot. Good shot onto him. And takes a shot at the terrorist in the smoke. One guy pushing his way up connector is going to get taken down by DMK. And there is no more terrorists here in mid. It does not look like he's going to be spamming through that smoke anymore. Once again, making his way over here towards mid. Setting up for Viking. Able to take down Viking as he peeks out. We got four guys over there towards the A site. Going to try to go for the take here. One guy palace went down, so he doesn't really have to worry about that. But there are two guys out ramp. Tries to flick over. Doesn't quite hit the shot. Repositioning here. Teammate pushing up from connector. He is going to take a spam shot while blind. One guy up on top on the close part. Going to get taken down by his teammate. He's going to peek out and take down Cyclone. This is going to leave one terrorist remaining. Making his way up catwalk. And that is the first half. All right, we got a three on four situation here. Ignorance making his way up catwalk. Is going to spot out one guy over there towards jungle. Able to take him down. Still has two counter terrorists to worry about. And let's see if he checks anything here. Yeah, he is kind of lazily checking stuff. Doesn't check the left corner over there in case someone's hiding or anything like that. And making his way over here to see if there's any rotation. Now, one guy coming in through window, ready for him. Able to take him down. Peeks over towards the last guy. And he gets taken down by HBM. All right, this round looks like he's going to be going for a fast A take. Able to spot out two guys there. Sprays them both down. All right, looks like he's going to go for another A take. Will he be able to pull off something like that again? Not quite able to get on target that time. He gets naded to death because of it. This round, Ignorance is going to be creeping his way over here into the B site. Right now, there is technically no one watching this B site. And because of that, he should be able to get in there easily. Look how quickly he takes it. He actually made noise. Yeah, he is checking stuff. See if he gets caught off guard by him. Peeking around the corner. Able to take down Cyclone and gets taken down from behind. All right, time for the Overwatch resolution. Now, this is one of those games that is very difficult to judge. He had some pretty good aim, hit a lot of his flick shots, maybe using a little bit of aim assistance, but really can't tell. So I'm going to have to go with insufficient evidence here. As for vision assistance, he was checking stuff, but for the most part, it seemed like he may be slightly overly aware 
of people's locations. There is a possibility that he may have been using something to give him a little bit more information on where players were. Some of the spam shots through the smoke were a little bit suspicious, but overall, definitely not enough evidence to say evident beyond reasonable doubt. So you're going to have to go with insufficient evidence here. This guy was either a very skilled, very experienced player, or he was using some form of assistance to make him try to look like a pro. Either way, if he were cheating, he is incredibly good at hiding it. As for major disruption of the external assistance, going to go with insufficient evidence here. And as for griefing, going to go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. Next up, we find ourselves on d Dust 2, the suspect making his way over here towards middle, picking from underneath here, because the only way to pick on Dust 2 anymore and going to be peeking over to the left side of mid. And we got two guys over there towards the B site. Does not feel like he's overly aware quite yet. In the beginning, it looked like he was maybe staring at that guy through the mid door. Able to pick McCall over here on site. One more guy here in mid gets taken down by his teammate. And we got one guy over at B slowly rotating his way over. Let's look at how he's looking over at the wall. Yeah, he seems to know that this guy is creeping up, I think. On that right hand side, though, maybe not. It's out, able to take down Bulldog. Alright, making his way over here towards the A side, does get across those doors and is planting that bomb. Now he's got to worry about the 2v3 retake here. Let's see what happens. The call picking there from CT Spawn. Looks like he knows he's there on the right hand side. Look how he's holding only the right hand side and takes down Mask. If that's not a sign that he's wall hacking, I don't know what is. Over here towards door, does scope away from it right as he peeks out. Maybe hiding it a little bit too good. Now we do have one guy picking from the left side of mid. This is a pretty standard angle. Maybe we peeking out over here. Looked like he just lined him up right through the wall. Standing up and trying to shoot him. And finally able to take down Husky. Yeah, it really looks like he is just pre-aiming him through the lip of that wall. Now we got one more guy here on catwalk. Should know the last two guys over there at the A site. So they should take that B site and plant that bomb. Able to get that kill on catwalk. He's going to leave one counter terrorist remaining. And the suspect's going to make his way over there toward that B site. Alright, let's see if we can get a mid pick here. Takes a shot at the smoke. Not quite able to get on target. Four man A stack here. One guy over here towards long pit. One guy about the corner. He pulls back out that AWP. Wasn't quite in time to take him down. He does, however, know that there's one guy in pit. Does nade him for a little bit of damage. And when I say a little bit of damage, I mean 9 HP. I'm going to throw a molly off of the blue container here. Doesn't really do too much. I guess it would molly out anyone up close. But as you can see, that guy is back there in that corner. And he is going to fly off the guy by car. He gets tagged up a little bit by the guy that was up on the close boxes here. Flashbang's going to come in. Going to fall back a little bit, holding a little bit more passive angle. Meanwhile, Bulldog is doing a good job holding that B site with an MP7. Suspect holding mid, just waiting for this guy to cross. And of course, that guy's trying to jiggle it. Suspect reacts instantly, destroying Mask. And now making his way over here towards the B site in a 2v1 situation. McCall making his way up. Suspects holding the angle, waiting for the peek out, and able to get the kill. Great crosshair positioning. Knew he was going to peek from up close right there. Maybe communication from his teammate, but honestly, I feel like he's got way too much information. He's one guy is in B-tons. One guy just kept cat. Able to get a quick, easy pick onto Catwalk. One guy in CT spawn. Last three guys are over there towards A, but it looks like he's going to still try to press over here towards A. Takes a shot towards this guy on Cat. Trying to finish him off. Finally does. Two guys remaining. Does have Bomb, but he's going to decide to continue to go for the site here. Bulldog on the right-hand angle. Does he know his angle? Look at that weird off-angle peek he did to spot him out. All right, pulling out his pistol, trying to finish him off. Does dink him. Needs one more bullet, but his teammate's going to take him down from behind. We got one guy pushed up mid by the big box. One guy mid on the left-hand side. Going to throw a nade over there. It does a little bit of damage to the guy up close. Actually, wasn't pushed up by mid box. He's on the other side of that door. His teammate should be able to spot him out here in a moment. And it looks like Daisy is going to get taken down. The suspect takes quite a bit of damage. Kicking over there towards Husky. Husky walks into it. One more guy up close mid, right hand side. Again, another situation where I'm not sure why they don't just try to go to the B site. They've gotten plenty of info at this time to assume worst case scenario, there is only one guy B. And it's not the mid player because the mid player they saw go over there. So that means they'd have to have stacked a heavy two man B setup, which they didn't do. Either way, the suspect making his way over here towards middle. McCall there in mid and the suspect peeking out. Looking over there towards the box. He knows he's there. That guy's going to take down his teammate. And he's going to take down McCall. 
This round, there is absolutely no one playing the B site. The suspect just creeping his way in here, looking over there towards the door, doesn't check behind him at all. Does check over by car, and looking over here towards CT spawn. It looks like he tried to follow that guy up through the box there. He's hoping to get an angle onto him. But as you can see, that guy has jumped away here. Two guys over there on A site, and of course, two guys over there at long. B site is completely clear, and bomb is AFK. One guy here in CT spawn, he hasn't spotted him out, but he knows he's there. He knows the guy's going to peek up from up top. Look at his crosshair position. Just the fact he knows he's going to peek from which angle. Either way, able to take down Duck. Peeking over here towards the car at long. Knows there's a guy over there at the car. Taking some shots at him. And I feel like this is the round. The round that we have more than enough evidence to report this guy for wall hacking. Even though he's hiding it pretty well, he is definitely wall hacking. Peeking back out over here towards the car. Taking a pre-fire shot over there towards the right-hand side. And it looks like he's going to take down his teammate. So I guess I could also report griefing, possibly. He'll be making his way over here towards mid. There is one guy posted up on the right-hand side. He is going to spot him out. Able to get an easy kill there. Spots out another one in mid. There's two easy picks. Now we got one guy posted up here on long. Does he know he's there on the left-hand side? Let's see how he peeks through. Goes for the no scope there, trying to fall back. His teammate goes down in a 1v1, trying to go for the no scope. Why is he going for nothing but no scope? He really needs to scope that gun to be a little more consistent and not quite able to win the round or even get that kill. All right, making his way back over here towards long. We got three guys over here peeking out towards the guy on the bottom. Nice little pre fire there. One more guy up top and just pre fires him. Takes down McCall through the smoke. Okay, he's, he's done. He's like, you know what? I'm done trying to hide it. I'm just going to try shooting people through smokes from now on. All right, guys, time for the Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this. As for Major Disruption Aim Assistance, going to go with insufficient evidence here. As for Vision Assistance, though, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. He was doing a pretty good job trying to hide it. Throughout the beginning of the game, I was thinking to myself, maybe he's walling. It looks like his information's a little bit too high, but I was giving him the benefit of the doubt until that one round. But then at the very end, you can see he's just pre-lining people up through walls and through smokes and just one-tapping them, even though we can't even see them. As for mid disruption, other external assistance going to go with insufficient evidence here. Didn't really see any B-hop scripts or anything like that. As for griefing, he did grief his teammate by shooting him in the back of the head one round, but I'm going to give him a warning for that one, even though he doesn't really deserve it. So, insufficient evidence here. Uh, remember, this is going to take priority here, the fact that he was using vision assistance. Let's move on to the next case. Next up, we find ourselves on Office. The suspect here, spinning around so fast, it's glitching out the game. 12 kills, 54 damage round, and... Obviously, full-on blatantly cheating. Just need to go and wait for him to get one kill. As we look at the guns that everyone's using in here, you can see that at least five guys on the terrorist team are cheating, and it looks like at least three of them on the counter-terrorist team cheating. But uh, it might be more than that. Yeah, that guy's running around backwards. At least four of them on the counter-terrorist team are cheating. Yeah, so it's pretty much full-on hacker versus hacker game, with the exception of maybe one guy. Yeah, they're all running around backwards. So it's a full-on five-on-five hacker versus hacker game on Office. What do you expect from Office? Let's go and report it. As for mid description aim assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistances, evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, going to go with insufficient evidence here. That's today's cases. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.